All right, so this is just going to be another 100 point battle. I'm testing out my Soviet force uh, to see if this is kind of what I would want to run if we were doing a tournament. So I'm trying to tweak my uh, Soviet force, then I'll start working on my American force. Uh, so this is going to be the battlefield. It's a little bit, maybe a little different than before. I kind of just randomly put things out, thinking how the opponents want to do it. Uh, so it'll be just another kill mission right now. I'm not going to worry about objectives. Uh, I just want to kind of tweak the list to not worry about that right now. Then I'll kind of maybe tweak it when we get to objectives. So this is the battlefield. Let's take a look at what's going to, or who's going to be uh, fighting each other in this. All right, this is the Soviet side running three tanks, and they are exactly the same tanks. So let's see what they are. So down here are the, what well, is the, card I'm going to use for them, which is T-34-85. So I've got three of those, and they all have the same crew, which is a racing driver. So it gives them plus two initiative in the movement step, but they lose one initiative in the shooting step. Then Cunning Commander is going to give them plus one initiative in the movement step. And then when they hit with a critical for their first uh, attack, they can draw two cards and choose which one they want to apply to the opponent. So what this is going to allow is this gets them to initiative nine of movement, which is going to allow them normally for most opponents, it's going to allow them to see where the opponent's going to move because they're going to have to move first. Then they get to react and get set up for some really good shots. So we're going to see how that goes. However, in the shooting step, they drop to five. But I'm not as worried about the shooting coming at them, um, the tanks up here, as compared to moving. I want to get these guys to be able to uh, go second. I want the opponent to go first. They go second, get set up, and hopefully they can only have like one of the opponent's tanks shoot at them, and they get all three of their tanks to shoot at that one target. So we'll see how that goes. All right, this is the USA side. We have a 75 millimeter Sherman and two Pershings. So let's see if we've given any upgrades or crews to them. So the Sherman is just gonna be a normal Sherman, no upgrades or crews for it. But the two Pershings are gonna have the exact same um, setup, which is uh, improvised armor. So that's gonna give them one more hit point. So now they have eight hit points each. And the sharpshooter gunner which is when they score their first uh, critical hit, they can draw two cards and decide which one to give to the opponent to apply. So this is the American side. So it's going to be three tanks versus three tanks. All right, so this is the setup. Um, they both have initiative six as far as trying to set up. Um, so they rolled off America lost. So they, had, they deployed first. So they deployed over here. Soviets deployed together over there, and we're gonna start. So Americans are thinking, uh, I don't wanna get shot off right off the bat. I'm gonna let this set up a little bit for me. So I think they're gonna move, this one's gonna move behind the woods. Don't forget to mark. Um, Sherman, I think it's just gonna move one because it's not gonna make it into the woods. This one doesn't wanna sit out here. So I think it's gonna go over here. One, two, and it's got marked. So that's the America's turn. It is rough having to move first, trying to guess what your opponent's gonna do. So now the Soviets, here's, here's what the Soviets wanna do, and this is what I wanted to test. Their idea is they wanna shoot at one tank, but they only want that one tank to be able to shoot back at them. So they got to think, who can they shoot at? Well, they can't shoot at this one, but it can't shoot back at them. Sherman, they get out here. They can shoot at Sherman. The Pershing can't shoot them. If they move over to here, they can see the tail end of the Sherman or that Pershing here. It's sticking out and nothing is going to get to shoot at them. 
because the turrets going through this building can't see through it. So they're going to get lined up here to shoot at that Pershing where it can't get a shot back. So it doesn't matter how many moves they, they go in this case, because it's not going to get, it, oh, I guess it would. It gives some defense dice. So they're really wanting to move just one. So I'm about to kind of get down a little bit. And one of the things is on movement that I've learned, and uh, I'm going to use this as an example for my tank here. It used to be, I thought, in looking at all the demos and everything, you had to move to the very end of the arrow, and then you rotate it around that. If you want to go slower, you kind of backed it up a little bit on there, and then you move to the end. Well, it turns out you can stop anywhere along that and rotate. So if I really wanted to, I could just rotate in place, but that counts as a movement. Or I can move partway up in if I want to rotate. So keep that in mind. You don't have to go to the end. I used to think you'd have to. Don't. So I can set this arrow here and stop anywhere along the arrow. So I'm going to get lined up to where it's going to get a movement of one. So I think I'm going to lean it down just a little bit like this from its turret to it. You can see. So I'm going to have to put a one. Okay, it's going to give some defense dice. This one's going to want to move a one. So we'll do like that. Right next to that one. It can see, um, I don't think this third one's going to get a shot off. But you know what? I'm not really caring that much because it's not going to get shoot, shoot back. So this is like a free shot. So it's just going to move over here. And don't forget to mark one, one. All right. I didn't need to mark that, but you know what? Get in the habit. All right. So these two are going to get to shoot at that Pershing. It's not going to get to shoot back. Nothing on the American side, USA side is going to get to shoot back. So five dice for the first attack. And it got two hits. All right, let's see what the Persian gets for defense. It starts with two. It moved two. They moved one. It's concealed. So six defense dice. And wow, yeah, it made it. So I'm going to keep this over here because it's going to be the same amount of defense dice. But now the Soviets are at six attack dice. Oh, wow. Three hits, one crit. Um, I will say there is a difference. Four fives are hits, sixes are crits. So it's three hits and one crit. We know it gets six defense dice. And this is what it got. It's going to nullify the crit. Two of those hits go away. So one hit on that Pershing. So that was a free hit. That is the bull. So the bull is going to take one. So right now my tactics with the Soviets is working. Didn't get all their tanks to shoot. But nothing shot back at them. So hey, that's a free damage. Now, this tank does have eight hit points. So uh, now it's down to seven. So now it is going to be time for movement. So I'm going to remove all the movement tokens. And I think this Pershing is going to move into the woods here with one movement. Now I can see those T-34s. I think the Sherman's going to want to get up here to get in the action. One. And I can't see him. So it's going to move another one. Now I can. So I move two. Um, this one. It's got, to, it's got to move. If it doesn't move, it's, it's going to be in trouble. So I think it's just going to move one. And use the building for cover. So like that, so we'll put a one here. All right, so again, this is, I'm testing this like I would uh, want to take this possibly to like a tournament. The idea is here, only one of these American tanks is going to get to shoot at them. The rest are going to be blocked. So it would be nice to keep going after that Pershing, and that should be pretty simple because I could use this building. They can't see down this channel here beyond this building. So if I move, oops, I can go to the end here. So if I move to there, they can't see it. He can see that Pershing. 
So I'm going to put a one. Don't forget to mark after you move. Get in that habit. I'm talking to myself about that because I sometimes get in a bad habit. All right, now this is where it gets really tricky. I'm going to explain something I'm doing right here in just a minute. So it's going to go there. Put a one. And this one, it's going to go here and put a one. So it's on the other side of this building. They cannot see it and shoot. They all three can shoot at the Pershing. And the Pershing can only, only that one Pershing is going to get to shoot back. So the Pershing is going to shoot. And I'm going to show you why I did what I did right there. It's in the rules. And I'll explain in just a minute. So it's going to get five dice for attack. And it got one hit and one crit. Defense dice. It gets one. It moved one. It moved one, but doesn't allow it. It is concealed. Let's say you're shooting at 2306 or this one. Normally you think, oh, it's in the open. Tanks, it didn't say ally tanks, it didn't say enemy tanks, it just said tanks provide cover. Can he see three of these corners without going through this tank? No. This tank's front is blocking. So, barely, but it's blocking. So this one gets cover from this one. Well, if he was to shoot at that one, this one's going to get the cover. And then when it gets over here, the building's giving this one cover. So if you line up your tanks correctly, they can give cover to each other. So he's just going to go after 2306. So actually, he'll go after this one that's at the end. So one, it moved one. The Pershing moved one. Didn't give it, but it's getting concealment from its buddy here. So three dice instead of two. And it's going to get rid of the crit. So one hit goes through on whatever that says. Once you show. All right, so one hit on that one. They are now, as they say, uh, role playing or something like that. It's going to swing back. So it's got cover. It's going to be the same defense dice. So once I set this up, it's going to be the same. So five attack dice come into that injured Pershing. Two hits and a crit. So the Pershing starts with two. It moved one. Soviets moved one, it is concealed. And wow, that was a good roll. So I'm gonna keep this. Now, Soviets are getting six dice for each attack. And whoa, three hits and one crit. And they got, they'll cancel the crit, that, that. So one hit's gonna go through. It's already got one on it, so it's taken two damage of its eight. <laughs> All right, last Soviet attack. Oh, my three crits. Oh, and it canceled them. Oh, I thought it was going to be a crit going through. All right, so again, Soviet's taken one damage, but they only have five hit points on each of these, so not as many hit points as the USA Pershings, but they are limiting what the USA can do as far as shooting. So we'll take these movements off and USA is going to do their movement. So right now my tactics are working. If the dice rolling would just not like the USA, they'd be doing awesome. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to put the pressure on. So one, two. Now he kind of sees Soviets. This one's going to go one, Two, making it a little harder. I don't think this one's going to move. It's going to want the rerolls. I think it wants to get the rerolls. So it's not going to move. Normally you think USA move all the time. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Think time. Who, where can they move that only one of these tanks can shoot at them? They would really love to keep going after this because it's already injured. Uh, but I don't see any place, except for maybe getting over here, that they could shoot at it, it could shoot back, but none of the others can. And I don't think, I'm going to see, so let's go one, two, no, there's no way they can get on the other side of the woods. So looking at this, even though they would like to still take that tank on, if they move to this side of the building, the only tank that can shoot at them is this one. 
And if I get it set up correctly, they're going to have cover for all three of their tanks, and this is going to get no cover. So that's what they're going to try to do. So we will get this first one set up. So I'm going to kind of move that out of the way so it's a little easier to see what's going on here. So like that. Um, I think he's going to back up just a tiny, tiny bit. And uh, maybe actually this one may get, will get cover from, for that. Mm, you know what? Actually, I think they are not going to get cover uh, with how they're going to be set up here. So they're just going to go one. They're just trying to get on the other side of that building away from that Sherman. So put a one, 2306. And this one may actually have to move two. Yep, he's going to have to move two. Let me see. Yep, he's going to have to move two. So he's just going to go right there. All right, so he actually moved twice. Give a little more defense knife to that Pershing. Okay, um, Pershing gets to attack first because the Soviets dropped in initiative during the shooting step. So it's going to go after this one. Mm. Mm, this one is going to be concealed. This tank's blocking. This one will not be concealed. I think he's going after 2306. Since it's not concealed, less defense. Oh, may have been a good idea because two hits and one crit. Okay, let's see about defense dice. It starts with one. It moved one. Pershing moved two, so it's going to get one. It is not concealed. Yeah, we got this one would have got wow, this one would have got two more dice because it moved two plus concealed. So good shot here. And let's see, nothing got blocked. So that one is going to take two hits. Draw two crit cards. Um, this either do one damage and this tank gains the assault tank uh, rule, which is jam turret, or this target uh, discards one crew and takes two damage. I think it's going to injure the crew. So what happens here is... 2306, I'm going to move this over here so I keep track of something. So 2306 is going to lose the plus one during the movement. So it's dropped an initiative to eight. Actually, since it beats the US, it would shoot before them. No, I don't want to confuse myself. So. Just keep it simple. If I was playing against somebody, I'd probably switch the other one out. But just keep keep myself straight. All right. That wasn't what the Soviets wanted. But now they get to attack. So five dice. One of that Pershing will just work our way here. So it's going to get concealment from this first shot. One crit. I cannot roll for the Soviets. Gets two armor. It moved two. That one moved one. It is concealed. And yeah, I was expecting that. All right. Six dice now. No concealment. Two hits and a crit. Now I will have to take one die out for this one because it's lost concealment, but they moved the same. And he'll do that. So one hit goes through. That is on the fist. So one damage on the fist. And six dice from the other one. One hit, two crits. Um, I'm going to recalculate this one because it starts with two, move two, that one move two, uh, not concealed, so nothing else added, so six. And yes, the dice are favoring the U.S. right now. All right. Um, so take those off. I'm going to put that over here. Oh, don't forget to shuffle this. New round or new turn, so got to shuffle the crit deck. Well, okay, kind of recapping damage, what's going on here. Uh, the one with the fist has one damage, so it's a seven hit points. That one suffered two, so it has six. This is uninjured. Uh, 2306 has three hit points left. This one has four. This one's uninjured. USA.
I think he's going to want to back up, get a little bit of cover, that movement. Um, the Sherman, I think, is going to swing on around. So one, two, like this. Start putting a little pressure here. And this one, I don't think he's going to move. I think he's going to get, um, well, if he doesn't move, he can't shoot him. So, because he can't shoot through here. I think he's going to push his luck. So one, two. Start putting the pressure on US. So he's got a two movement there. You know, we kind of can see it. All right, Soviets. Ugh. They are starting to get a little bit surrounded. Where can they move that only one of these tanks can shoot at them? This building's going to block. That building's going to block that direction, but not enough. If they swing around here, they can shoot at the Pershing. So that's what they're going to do. So they're going to swing around. I'm trying not to get analysis paralysis here. I'm trying to keep the game flowing. So he's going to move one. Actually, if he moves, I'm going to see something. Two. Three. Uh, I don't think they're going to make it. Nope. So he's just going to go there. He would like to move two, but uh, he doesn't want to go past the building. So this one is going to have to move two to get to where Sherman can't shoot it. And I think this one's going to have to move too, also. Yep. Where the Sherman can't shoot at it. Okay, so the Sherman can't shoot at these guys. Pershing can't shoot at them. This building's kind of blocking it. So they're all going to go into Pershing, but the Pershing is going to choose one of those. And he's going to go after the most injured is 2306. Oh, it's got concealment. The one that will not have concealment is 60. He's going to go after that one. It's an uninjured. The rest of them will have concealment, so he's going to take the easy shot right now. Going on 60. Two hits and a crit. Okay, it gets one for normal. It moved one. Pershing moved one, but doesn't get any, but no cover. And it's going to nullify one. So it's going to take one damage. This is his first damage. So it's on 60, but it's going to take a crit. So it's either damaged optics it does let two less attack dice and discard after use or take two damage right off the bat let's do two damage so now it's taken three so it's got two hit points the soviets are really hurting but i think it's more to do with just dice rolling well no that one the just not enough armor but they are now going to pile into the pershing so we'll do five dice um We'll just start with the easy one here. And, whoa, two hits and two crits. Two. It moved one. It moved one. It is in, it's in the woods, so it's getting some concealment. And two. So it's going to nullify that. That. So it's going to take one hit. That is on the fist, so it's taking two total. But USA, or not USA, Soviets get to draw two cards and choose. It can do two damage or two damage. I think it's going to do two damage. So that is four damage onto it. It's half of its hit points are gone, but that's only the first attack. So now six dice. And uh, why do I even think about this? Um, normally we'll roll more dice for the attack. It does less. Let's see. Yep, yep. There's one. <laughs> <laughs> so two, it moved one, that one moved two, it is concealed. It's getting more dice from these guys because they had to move more. And yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's try again. And three hits and a crit. And this one, oh, this Pershing's in trouble. So one damage is going to go through. That is five damage total on that one. So it's got three left, but... This one's going to get a draw two crits. It can be an engine fire, which takes one damage and may continue to take damage, or engine fire. Wow, I shuffled these, I swear. So it's got an engine fire, it's going to take one damage. It's got two hit points left. It may take another damage at the end of this turn, which is now. 
So we're going to take a upgrade here or see if we can get uh, rid of that. No, it takes another damage. It's at seven damage. One more damage and that Pershing is gone. It's still on fire. I wish I had some fire token. All right, um, I'm going to put the building back on there because they're swinging around. USA, oh, they're like, no, our Pershing. No. So, but they are starting to squeeze the Soviets in. So I think what they're going to do is, uh, this one I think is just going to sit there. This one is going to move two up. So let me put a two on that one. So it's moving two up. The uh, Sherman, it's going to move two. Because it, it's going to make it harder now. So I'll put a two there. So now the Soviet is like, ugh. I am getting surrounded. If we can take out one of these, which this only has one hit point, so they really want to go after that tank. So if they can get two, I don't think they can do it. Um, I was saying at this side, but if they go here, the Pershing's going to see him. If they go more over towards the back here, the Sherman's going to see him. I think they'd rather the Sherman, even though I go really lucky with Sherman, Sherman shoot at them instead of the extra Pershing. So I think what they're going to do is try to get back here to get a shot on that one. Oh, do you know what? I'm, I'm being crazy. If I can get them over here on the other side of the woods... They can't see them. So the question is, can one, two, three... I think they're going to be able to. So that's what they're going to do. And it'll be within an arrow and side armor. So, yeah, that's what they're going to do. They're going to move three. So one, two, and they don't want to be in the woods. So this one's going to be... There. Ooh. So move 60. It's going to go three. Uh, I don't know. Ah, it's going to be tough to see if they get out of the way of that Pershing there. One. Two. Can't quite. So it's going to be like that. Oops. Oh, but this is going to be blocking. So this one will not be attacked by that one. I keep knocking that over. There we go. So this one moved three. Because remember, you can't... This is blocking line of sight for that one. So this one, though, I don't think I can do anything with him. He's going to be shot at. I don't think I'm going to have enough movement to get him around. So one, two... Yeah, I think he's going to be shot at. So he's just going to do the best he can. So one, two... Oh, wait, he can. I think he's just going to move behind these tanks to save his butt. He won't be able to shoot, but it's going to keep uh, that Pershing from shooting at him. All right, so that's the idea there. Only two are going to shoot at this one, but this one's going to lose a lot of dice. All right, the Sherman will get to shoot. So might as well start with it. It's going to shoot at 2306 in the open. Um... Yep, the building's not blocking. So, and as usual, I do really good with the, with the Sherman. All right, defense dice. It gets one. It moved three. Sherman moved two, so it's going to add one. No concealment. 2306 rolls. Plenty. He gets it. All right. Pershing. The only Pershing that can shoot. It's going to shoot at 60. It's the most injured. Five dice. One hit, one crit. All right, so this gets a little more tricky because it's within one arrow. So it normally gets one. It gets, oh, you know what? They can re-roll that. Does that Pershing want to re-roll? Yeah, it wants three hits is really what it wants. I forgot. It didn't move, so it can re-roll. There we go. So it got three hits. That's It wanted at least three. So it gets one, it moved three, it didn't move, it's concealed, but it's within one arrow. So that one extra hit may be what it really needed. 
Yep. Otherwise, it wouldn't have gone through. So one more wound on the one that's most damaged. This one's taken four. So 60 is one hit point left. Again, they only have five hit points. But now um, these two can shoot. So this one's going to shoot here. If it destroys it, this one can go out there to Sherman. So 60 is going to shoot back with five dice. Oh boy, three hits in one crit. This could be it for the Pershing. Pershing gets two. It did not move. They move three. It is concealed, but it's within one arrow and it's side armor. Oh wow, it made them all. <laughs> four, 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 six. Okay, well, Soviets go. Okay, we're going to roll three dice at, or six dice at you then. And oh, four hits. I don't know if the they're going the Persian's gonna be able to do that again. Oh, it made three though. So one hit goes through. That's all that was needed. That Pershing is gone. The fire took it out. It helped. Because otherwise we still have one hit point. So we will take this one. One Pershing is out of there. I forgot to shuffle these. Always remember, I'm trying to get in the habit of doing certain things. When it's time to clean up the tokens, remember to shuffle. So let me get this, that over there. Now, when you get down to two tanks for the US, it makes it a little easier for the Soviets. When you have three or more tanks, it's a little bit harder for the Soviets to pick off one single tank. All right. Take those off, um, these, so the, uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to take off the fist. There we go. Oh, should have shuffled that in. Let me get that in there real quick. Wasn't paying attention. Well, may have taken out a Pershing, but the Soviets are hurting. So I'm going to kind of give a recap of damage, what's going on here. Let me get these out of the way. One. All right. This one has taken two, so it's got six hit points. This one's taken none. It has six hit points. 2306 has taken two damage. It has three hit points left. This one's taken four. It has one hit point left. This has taken one, so it has four. So we're looking at one hit point, three hit points, four, six, and six. But USA has to move first. So I think uh, it's not going to be able to make it into the woods. So, oh, I don't know. You know what? I was about to move them into the woods. That would be crazy because that's bringing them right in where they can get flank. So I think what he's going to do is he's going to back up. One didn't make it, but he's going to back up. The Sherman, I think if he starts swinging out here, they're going to be able to pick one of these tanks off. So I think they're going to want to stay together. So he's going to go one, two. And I can take that off. And that's all that's left. So the Soviets need to think, how can they maneuver to where only one of these can shoot at them? They could possibly move over here. Then the Pershing can possibly be the only one to shoot at him. Unless they can just see the tail end of it and the turret can't see him. Or somehow work their way to have this building block the Sherman. The Sherman's the one that's going to be the easiest to block out. Um, if they move over here, um, only the Pershing's going to get a shoot at him. If they're smart and get about right here, the Pershing can't shoot through. You know what? That's what they're going to do. Because they're so close together, I could use this one to block this shot. He can't shoot through his buddy, so he can't shoot this direction. So if I get these guys set up to where I, they can't see the turret, that means the Sherman can't shoot at him either. So, whoo, this is, this is where the moving second has really paid off. So... 
I think I'm going to try to get the first one set up. It may only be one of them gets a shot, but that's a free shot. So we're going to go one. And this one, I think, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I don't think, I think they're going to, yeah, the Pershing's going to get a shot off. So, so let's rethink this. If I go one, two, three, aha, uh -huh. I think he could possibly get a shot there. Let me double check. One, two, three, nope. Um, this may just be uh, set up for next time. Or just get where one can shoot and the other no. one of these tanks can shoot. So I'm, I'm thinking too much. Let's just get play. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to swing around to shoot at the Pershing, but then the Sherman can't shoot. One, two, three. Yep, and that's going to give him concealment. So 60, grab a three. One, two, three. I don't know if this one's even gonna, ooh. This one won't even get to shoot. This one will, but the other one won't. I don't know if it's gonna be a, worth the trade-off. Uh, we'll go with it. So one, two, he'll be right next to his buddy. Three. All right. Uh, I don't know if that was worth the trade-off, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna overthink this game right now. All right, so Pershing's gonna get to shoot five dice, shooting at number 60, which has one hit point, and one hit, one crit. So it gets one, it moved three. Pershing move two is gonna give one plus concealment, and it made it. Well, the gamble paid off, possibly. All right, so five. Oh, I think the gamble may have paid off three. That was a five. Three hits and a crit. Pershing starts with two. It moved two. Three for movement. One for concealment. The most you get is six. Three. I think they're going to have the crit go through. Draw. S <sighs> yeah, because otherwise it's just one damage. So might as well. Zero damage, zero damage. So... I could do Shell Shock, this tank has zero initiative, or this tank has negative two dice. We're going to do negative two dice. But let's see if it's gone. No. So this Pershing, when it shoots, and actually I'm going to put this out here to remind me, because I probably will forget. It's only going to get three attack dice this turn. All right, move the tokens there. Shuffle. So it wasn't damaged, but it's going to help the Soviets that less dice are going to be coming at them. Boy, I was actually, I think, really lucky that that Pershing didn't injure that tank because that was the wrong one to have out here. All right, so let's move these. All right. They're going to want to get one, two, one, Two, okay, so there we go. So they both move two. And they really want to get a shot off on um, uh, either one's gonna be fine to take. They'll take what they can get. So looking here, I can get it to where they can shoot at the Pershing. Because if we take the Pershing out, we just had a Sherman left. So this one's going to move one. This one can go back here. And oh, if I don't get any further over, the Sherman's going to get a shot. So. That one's there, that one's there. Let's mark those with ones. Oh, they're over here. 
Always get in the habit of marking what you're doing. So I think only two of them are going to get to shoot at the Pershing. The 61, he's going to get out of here. One, two. So he's going to get over here. He's only got one hit point left. So what's going to happen is these two can shoot at the Pershing. The Pershing can shoot back, but Sherman can't. And the Pershing is, I'm glad I put this down there, the Pershing is going to get two less attack dice, so it's only going to get three. He's going to shoot at, uh, which one's more injured? Uh, 2306. It's got two damage on it. And did two hits. All right. It starts with one. It moved one. It moved two. Gained one. Concealed. Made it. The gamble paid off. The dice are kind of liking the Soviets somewhat now. All right, so five dice coming at this Pershing. And one hit and two crits. Let's see, Pershing, uh, uh, concealed. And made it. Now six dice, which has not been good. Oh, it did half. And, oh, only saved one. No crits, so two damage straight on through. This has taken four, half of its hit points. Uh, shuffle the crit deck, because this got thrown back in. Oh, I can't shuffle. Let's try this again. There we go, okay, put this down. Uh, U.S. Okay, let's remove all movement tokens. Um, one, two, one. Can't get over there, but it's going to get set up hopefully for next turn. So the, both of these move two. Well, U.S. can use, or U.S. Soviets can use these woods again to where the Sherman can't get a shot. So they're all going to move uh, this one is going to move to here. This one's going to move to there to get concealment. And this one's going to move to there to get concealment. So they all moved one. So one, one, one. I could have put one down, but I'm just kind of getting the habit again. All right. Pershing gets to shoot, but this time it's not limited on its dice. It gets all five. It's going to shoot at the most injured, number 60. And oh, four, oh, three hits. Three hits. Okay, it moved. It's got one. It moved one. Pershing moved two, so it's going to get one. It's concealed. Oh, number 60 may be gone. It is gone. One hit point went through, or one damage. So, but it still gets to attack. So, one damage went through. That's five. So, number 60 is out of the game. So, Soviets have lost a tank, but they're going to now shoot at the Pershing. The Pershing, I think. I need to double check. It's going to get concealment from this very first one that is shot. So let's go ahead and do that one. So it gets concealment on this one. Two hits. It starts with two. It moved two. That moved one. Concealment. Two barely made it. All right, now the others get six dice. No concealment. Oh, not even, that's five hits and one crit. Okay, it starts with two, it moved two, one for the Soviets movement. Oh my. Well, they'll cancel the crit, one of the hits, so four damage on that one. That, that's gonna take that Pershing out. That was a unique situation. I don't think that's gonna happen all the time. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so six dice again. No cover. Um, oh, it is that one. Since the Pershing's out, he can shoot at the Sherman. 
Can he? No, he can't shoot at the German. They can't shoot back. So uh, let's just go ahead and see what else we can do to the Pershing. Let's have a little bit of fun. Two hits and a crit. It's going to get five defense dice. And cancel them. All right. Pershing. I am shocked at how much damage that actually did. So, the Pers so it's down to the Sherman. But again, 60 has one hit point. 2306 has three. And Bofifia has four. This Pershing is uh, six hit points. But it only gets four attack dice. And now... They're just, it's like a blood in the water. The, I think the um, Soviets are just going to swarm this poor Sherman. So I think what Sherman's going to have to do, oh, it does not want to get close to him. So it's going to back up one. This way it does not give them a defense die. But they don't care because they can move three. One, two, Three, side shot, in within an arrow. Six, that's six, that's the one that's really damaged. One, two, three, that's another side shot. So two of them are gonna get side shot, plus they're within an arrow. This one won't. This one's gonna be on the front. He does not wanna block, he's just gonna go here. Get some concealment if need be. I don't think he's going to worry about it. And three. All right. Yeah, Sherman's in huge trouble now. I, I, it kind of reminds me like, um, I don't know, some kind of like animal attack or something where that one thing's kind of defending itself, but it's, it's a lost cause. Unless the Sherman gets really lucky on some dice rolls. Well, it's going to go after 60 that's injured. Um, no concealment. It's the one right there. So no concealment. Hitting a crit. Whoops, that was a hit. Um, it got one. It has, it starts with one. It moved three. Sherman moved one, doesn't add. Um, uh, no concealment. It's within an arrow. Oh, Sherman goes, you have one hit point left. You're going to take the hit point. So that's 60 is out of here. Oh, wait. I messed up. 60 is should have been gone. My fault. Wasn't paying attention. There we go. 60. So this one took a damage. Which was, uh, yeah, so it's at two damage. My fault, I wasn't paying attention. All right. So, there we go. Only one of these is going to get side shot. So, we'll do um, this one into it. It does not get a side shot, but it is within an arrow. And it got two hits and two crits. So, Sherman did not take anything out it injured it though okay it starts with one it moved one they move three no concealment it's at the edge so take one for one arrow all right so do that takes one damage and it's going to take two crits but the first one is draw two two damage or this tank cannot move or shoot let's do the two damage I is take this tank out. It's got three damage on it. Half of its hit points gone. One more crit does three damage. Sherman is gone. Just like that. We still have the other tank. And, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. Uh, shoot him when they're down. Huh? So uh, two hits and three crits. Um, Sherman gets one. It moved one. They move three, no concealment, but it's within an arrow and it's a side shot. So three. Now let's just see what happens. Oh, it's going to take out. Uh, it's going to take out the two crits. It's going to take out a damage. So it takes another damage and two more damage. So I, that Sherman is history. Wow. I can't believe I forgot about that though. So 
Yeah, I lost one. The others have, uh, they both taken two, so they have three hit points each. So that worked out pretty good. Dice rolling, you know, it just depends upon, you may have, may have good dice rolling and bad, so it's hard to tell still. But I think this might be a really viable list for me, having that extra initiative and reacting to the opponents in that three movement is just awesome. It may give more defense dice to the opponent, but you're kind of ganging up. And, um, I mean, because you're getting the extra dice for the Soviet special rule, plus normally only one or two of their tanks are going to be shooting at your tanks. Most time you're, you're hoping it's just one. So that's this battle report. Um, I'm going to try a few more games at the store with the Soviet list, but right now I'm pretty happy with it. If my dice would like me, I'd probably be even more happy. So if you like this video or any of the others I've done, go ahead and subscribe and share it with other people. And as always, have a good game.